Welcome back. This is part two of making a springtime bunny using white oil pastel, crayon, or colored pencil. And now we are going to add texture to our bunny. So I got a white crayon, white oil pastel, and a white colored pencil. I'm going to show you what each material looks like when I use it on my bunny. If you don't have all three of these different tools, that's okay. You could just use what you have. The first thing I would like you to do is take your white crayon and you're going to lightly, with light pressure, fill in your bunny's body. So just from side to side. Go back and forth, all the same direction, to get this bunny's body lightly filled in with white. And you can do the same to his head. Try to not go over the top of his eye or his nose because we're going to do those in some different colors. But we're just going to get a light base of white to start us out here. All right, we're starting to get a little texture already. And it's kind of cool because my desk that I'm working on is made of wood. So it kind of picked up that wood design when I was using my crayon over the top. Do you see that? Now I'm going to take my white oil pastel and I am going to add some pieces of fur or bunny hair by making some curved lines. And I'm going to keep doing that to get him nice and filled up. I can do that on his head. And I can already tell this bunny is looking more and more realistic. Looks like he has real fur. On his ear, making those same curved lines with the white. And we all know that not all bunnies are completely white. They might have other colors in them. Like, what colors do you think, what other colors could a bunny be? I think maybe like a tan. Um, some gray, those would be great options too. So I found this oil pastel that's kind of a peach color, which is similar, or it's like tan. So I thought maybe I'd add a few um, curved lines of this color in with my white. This is going to make him look even more realistic. If you want a solid white bunny, that is totally fine. There definitely are solid white bunnies. Could also use a gray oil pastel, gray colored pencil, gray crayon, whatever material you have at your house. I'll show you what it looks like with colored pencil too. So it's a little bit lighter, so you just might have to add more curved lines if the only thing you have is colored pencil at home to make it more noticeable. All right, and then for his fuzzy little tail, if I wanna make it look really nice and fluffy, this is what you can do. Just inside the cloud shaped tail, make even smaller little cloud shapes. You can overlap them. Oh yeah, looks like a little cotton ball fluffy tail. Cool, 
all, this is what I've got so far. Think about what other colors I can use for filling in the oval of his ear and his nose. What color is a bunny's nose? Could be black, could be pink. I'm going to use a pink oil pastel to fill in his nose. I really love oil pastels because they glide on so nice and smoothly. And look at how bright they show up on colored construction paper. That's why oil pastels is one of my favorite materials to use on construction paper. Um, let's see what it would look like if you didn't have a pink oil pastel instead if you had a pink crayon. Let's see how they differ. What do you notice about the difference in color between the pink oil pastel and the pink crayon? One of them turns out a little bit brighter which I believe is the oil pastel that I use for his nose. You could also use a pink colored pencil too. See what the pink colored pencil looks like. So this is a little darker pink, so it's just making it a little darker pink. And for his eye, I think for the outer part here, I'm going to use a white colored pencil to fill that in. And then the inner arch, you could make whatever color you wanted. I think maybe I'm going to have him have a blue eye. There we go. Wow, look at all that texture, boys and girls. And all we had to do was make the same curved line all over his body to make that texture. All right, there's one more thing I would like you to do to really show me that you know how to put texture into your artwork. And we are going to use crayon, colored pencil oil pastel to make grass. First, I'll start with this oil pastel and we're gonna make our bunny look like he is in the grass because we know that bunnies kind of like to hide out in the grass. So I'm just making vertical lines, which means straight up and down lines along the bottom. Not every blade of grass is the same color green, is it? So I could use a darker shade of green too. Very cool. I think the more shades of a color you use, the more realistic it looks. Some green colored pencil. Doesn't show up as well as the oil pastel, does it? But if that's all you have at home, it'll work just fine. You just will probably have to add more blades of grass to make it look more noticeable. Green crayon. Perfect. There you have it. Your springtime bunny picture. Now what I would like you to do is you can um, cut around your bunny rabbit on the outermost lines. Get him cut out and then he can be glued 
on a piece of watercolor paper that you made last week. Or you could just um, glue them on a different colored piece of construction paper. So these two colors look really awesome together. He could be glued on this peach colored background. I'm going to cut this out for you now because I wanted to show you one cool thing that you could do with the grass after he's cut out. You don't have to worry about cutting 100% perfectly on top of your line that you made. See, I'm not cutting right on top of the line. I went a little bit around, and that's totally fine. That just makes sure that you don't accidentally cut into the bunny's body. Make sure that you don't cut this grass off because I'm going to show you a way to make it look like the grass is 3D or kind of popping off the page. So what you do is take your scissors, make a snip, snip. Notice I'm not cutting all the way down to the bottom because then my grass will fall off. I'm just cutting so I have a little paper attached at the bottom. See that? So you're cutting your blades of grass. Cut down quite a ways and then open up your scissors and pull back. That'll make sure that you don't accidentally cut your blades of grass off. Put your brakes on, open it up, pull back. Cut in, put your brakes on, pull back. Then take your pencil, like this. Take your thumb back here, and you can roll it, roll it. Roll it. And look at there. Your grass looks like it's almost blowing in the wind. And then after you glue it on here, your grass will kind of pop right off the page. You could write a spring message up here if you were going to do if you were going to put it on your piece of watercolor paper from last week. Look at how cool that looks. All kinds of texture in this spring picture. So there you have it. There is your other option of how to make a springtime rabbit. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to message me, email me. I am happy to help you. Happy bunny making!